Well, Matt, thanks for joining us. I should explain first that because of an EFL ruling and Richie Wellens receiving a red card, he's not allow- allowed to face the media, but he and everybody would imagine thrilled with that performance and result. Yeah, really thrilled. I, th- I think the last time I had to do an interview, uh, I was explaining to everyone to stay calm, stay patient when we lost 3-0 to Derby with 10 men. So um, sometimes I know what I'm talking about. So it's been a big turnaround and change since then. And uh, I think the players deserve a hell of a lot of credit. You know, we've uh, we've uh, we've looked like a really good team. I think uh, for the last six games. So need to keep it going. Need to need to stay aggressive and on the front foot like we have been. I think in them six games and uh, and just keep it going. A cagey first half, but the O's look so positive after the break. Yeah, but even in the first half, I thought we were really positive. I think we limited them to. A really good chance, all bit being said. I think, I think it was a really dominant display. I think we were the better team. I do think they've probably had two of the best chances of the game. Um, but I thought it was excellent. I thought our aggression, uh, we were on the front foot, um, and I thought we forced him into a lot of mistakes. So uh, I thought it was a really good performance, strong performance. Dan and Jai with the well-taken goal. Just how much of an impact has he had? Well, I think you're now seeing, you know, we had to be patient. He's, uh, he's obviously missed a hell of a lot of the season and we're building his minutes up, building him up in training. And now I just think uh, he's looking like a hell of a threat, you know. I don't think many defenders would want to come up against him uh, because he's just got that uh, unpredictability. He's got that strength, the power. And I think in the last few games, his finishing's been different class. So um, massive, massive boost for everyone. Um, and he just now we've got to keep him fit and keep him going and, and he can go from strength to strength I think three straight wins five straight clean sheets now I think it's one more for the club record um, looking so tight at the back yeah and again credit with uh, we changed back from a three at the, three at the back or a five at the back and I think we've been excellent in a four and I think he, he it, it does come from the front, I have to say. I don't think it's just because of the defence and the goalkeeper that we're getting clean sheets. It's because we're relentless in our work and our pressing at, at the top end and in, uh, and in midfield. So they're making it easier for the boys at the back. But credit to them, credit to the, to the team. They're, re- they're really, I think they're, they're stopping the opposition as high up as they can. And it means that we're not conceding too many chances. So uh, just need to keep it doing, doing it. And Jaden Sweeney did well. Yeah, I mean, it's a, obviously a terrible situation with J- Jaden coming in for with TJ, uh, what's happening with his family. So, um, Sween's got the late call and uh, no credit to him. I think he'd come in and he he done really, really well. I think he made some good decisions early. I thought he uh, he looked a threat going forward. And it's down to him now to keep building on it and, and, and keep pushing everyone to when he gets another chance, he keeps it. We started talking about the fact that Richie Wellens saw red again. Um, any complaints about the decisions? I mean, Williams was taking throws wherever he wanted, wasn't he? Yeah, and I think that's probably our frustration, is that it did feel like they were picking the ball up and gaining probably five yards. And look, it's just a split-second reaction. I've just seen it again. It does look pretty uh, pretty light. I mean, he, he hasn't elbowed him or really grabbed him, but he's maybe just stopped his momentum. So maybe a touch harsh, but you just don't know with the rules now what you can and can't do. So... Um, yeah, strange one. I've never really come across that situation before, to be honest. But um, but uh, no, we'll have to see. Yeah. But these really are exciting times for the club. Ninth in the table, eleven points off the playoffs. Is that something that you're talking about now? Uh, not really. I think the the big emphasis all along has been get back to being what we are: front foot, aggressive, uh, physical, a threat. Um, and I think it's just it's a boring cliche, isn't it? But you just got to go into every game. I mean, there's a hell of a lot of games coming up in uh, February and March, so you know, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I think we just need to go into every game and think we can we can win it and we can cause the opposition a problem. That's how I feel personally. I think that's how we all feel as a group. Uh, I think we're in a good place, but the squad's going to be needed. You know, there's no doubt about that. We've got a lot of games, so everyone's got to keep pushing. Um, the attitude, our standards need to to stay high. And then, uh, and then just attack each game. The window's open. Are you looking for players to uh, join the squad? It's nothing to do with me, is it? Um, obviously, if there's uh, if there's things to be done to improve the squad, we'd like to do it. You know, I think uh, ones may be close, but um, but yeah, it's down to uh, those above me. Okay, and then any injuries picked up today? Uh, any injuries? There's a couple of niggles, but nothing more. Uh, nothing too bad I don't think I think there's just precautionary stuff as you get um, it's been a funny time we haven't trained that much this week in terms of 
Um, it's been a bit here and there because of the to, because of the frozen pitches. So it's been a funny week like that. So we just got to assess everyone again. We've got another three weeks to, to work on things. So um, it looks like there's not too many problems in that department. But Reading have got problems, and it's Reading next weekend. Yeah, I mean another big club, uh, obviously going through a really tough time. Um, but. You know, we can't have sympathy. You can have sympathy for what they're going through, but we need to keep being ruthless and doing our jobs. That's just that's what we're paid to do. So we need to go into that and keep and keep doing it. Uh, another big game, a great club, big club. Um, let's go and enjoy it and let's be on the front foot.